So no matter how you slice it, NVIDIA's GTX 10 series cards were phenomenal hits. The Pascal architecture allowed NVIDIA to mostly dominate when it comes to gaming performance almost throughout this generation. Sure, AMD's RX 400 and 500 series cards were great 1080p cards and Vega was, well, Vega, but the gaming crown still rightfully belongs to Team Green. But seriously, NVIDIA, we think it's time to move on. We think we need to have a heart to heart about this. It feels like we've been stuck with Pascal for decades now, and honestly, we're getting a little bored here. And since AMD has decided not to launch any exciting new cards this year, it falls on you, Nvidia, to spice things up a little. But you sure are taking your sweet, oh so sweet as cranberry sauce time, aren't ya? Well, I'm taking my time traveling around the United States, just so you guys know. I'm in Dallas today. We were in Houston previously. We were in Florida before that. We're traveling around. We were in multiple different locations, so you guys are enjoying new scenery every time that there's a new video, and that's just what life is like for me right now. I'm just constantly driving on the road to a thousand different places. This location might become a little, uh, you might see it a few more times, but we're going to be in Dallas for a few days, and then we will be heading out to other places, and you guys will get to see the videos there. So let's, uh, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. So fortunately, we know no, at least we hope we do, that NVIDIA is slated to launch a new generation of cards this year. But details about when that'll be, or who they'll be for, or even what they'll be called are more scarce than your friend who convinced you to buy Bitcoin at 18k. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Kenny. That was the worst advice you ever gave me, friend. Luckily, rumors are here to fill in the blanks for everything besides my lost Bitcoin money, so let's look into everything. But before we get into when we might expect to see an announcement and subsequent launch of the cards, we should probably try to figure out what we'll actually be getting. You see, Everett Euron originally bought their tickets to board the Volta train. <laughs> so everyone just kind of assumed NVIDIA would cut down the specs of the Titan V, including replacing its HBM2 memory with GDR5X or 6, and Frankenstein some gaming cards together for the sake of the consumer market. But just as everyone was getting comfortable with the idea, someone mentioned the name Ampere and everyone lost their free minds. Were we going to get a new architecture built specifically for gaming called Ampere? Ampere? Is it just a mistranslation of Volta? Will Ampere come in to replace Volta or will it replace Pascal? No one knew for sure, but we placed our bets on the first possibility. And just when you thought things couldn't possibly, couldn't possibly get more confusing, the codename Turing made its puzzling debut. So what the heck is going on? Whoa there, Billy. I know it's a weird situation, but there's no excuse for writing in all caps, okay? So let's come down and try to make sense of all of this. According to the most recent collection of rumors and various industry sources, the next NVIDIA GPUs will be called Turing, named after Bandersnatch Cumberbund, um, I mean, Benelin Chestikoffs. You know, the guy that played the dragon in the Hobbit movie, but's now a magical wizard escaped from Azkaban who helped solve crime with the aforementioned Hobbit? The, that guy. He's famous computer scientist, mathematician, logician, an awesome hairstyle having Alan Turing. The idea that the next set of GPUs will be called Turing is probably the most credible of the rumors we've seen so far, and multiple outlets have recently seemingly decided that Turing is what consumers will be getting their hands on this year. Adding to its credibility, Gamers Nexus also finally admitted after one or two teases in its videos that their industry sources confirm that Turing is indeed likely the replacement for Pascal. It should be noted, however, that the same sources also said that even though the Turing naming is probably correct. It could always change before NVIDIA officially announces anything, but I also heard that about Ampere, so who cares? But whatever, Turing seems like a good enough bet to go with. That's that's what we're betting our horses on. So if correct, Turing will be NVIDIA's next big consumer GPU launch, but we still have no idea what it'll be for and where Ampere and Volta will fit into all of this, if they even fit in at all, unless they're like some male designed puzzle pieces that just like contort I don't want to think about it but it could be it could be like that who knows so let's dig a little bit deeper one of the most popular rumors which we'll look at first is that Turing will be the name of a collection of cards designed specifically for crypto mining while Ampere cards will be focused on gaming now some claim that this could be entirely reversed with Ampere being the mining card and Turing being the gaming cards but that seems highly unlikely as we mentioned before Alan Turing is famous for being a computer scientist and totally awesome hairstyle 
hairstyle model. Just look at how slick that hair is, man. Among other things, of course, but by other things, we're mainly referring to his work as a crypto analyst. Notice the crypt part? Yeah, you know what else has the name, that, that part in its name in cryptocurrencies. Yeah. Anyways, yes, if Turing really is the name of an upcoming line of NVIDIA GPUs, there's a chance that they'll be geared towards miners. Crypto, crypto, makes sense. The one big harmonious family. Another rumor doing the rounds is that Ampere is poised to succeed Volta in the professional applications market, while Turing will assume the role of dethroning Pascal. As Tom's hardware states, that strategy makes some sense. There are advantages of two separately optimized architectures. Consumer cards could be built excluding features that aren't beneficial to gaming performance, which means they'll be cheaper to manufacture. There are even more rumors about what the next-gen cards will be called and what they'll be used for but the consensus seems to be that Turing is what consumers will be getting their hands on. That being said, we're still left with many questions, the most important of which is when? When is NVIDIA finally going to put all the rumors to bed? When will we see actually cards hitting store shelves? And when will my hair be as fabulous as Alan Turing's? Well, the answer to the last question is simply Never. The answer to the other two is a little more complicated. One of the first rumors that had some potential was that NVIDIA plans to completely unveil their new cards at GTC or GPU Technology Conference later this month. It makes some sense since it's even an event where NVIDIA would most likely be talking about their current and future technologies, so why not reveal the next generation of consumer cards there? Well, the problem with this theory is that GTC is primarily, primarily focused on AI and deep learning technologies, so it's unlikely that the Turing cards will be fully announced during the conference. According to multiple independent sources who spoke with Tom's Hardware, we could see a rather vague appetizer for the cards unveiled there, but nothing concrete regarding NVIDIA's next-gen gaming graphics products is likely to be revealed at GTC or GDC. That's right, it seems GDC, or the Games Developers Conference taking place about right now, is also an unlikely candidate. If NVIDIA does decide to give showgoers an appetizer at either of the events, we're betting that the most we'll get is an updated roadmap, which could at the very least confirm whether or not we're getting Volta, Ampere, or, or more likely Turing, but we'll just about have to wait and see if they'll do that. I'm, I'm guessing if it's going to be a roadmap, it's going to be a GTC, uh, not 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 actual like hardware, because hardware would be unveiled at GDC, not GT. Anyways, who knows? Who knows? Knows knows, you know? Luckily, that's not the only rumor surrounding announcements and subsequent launch timings of the next-gen cards. Unfortunately, these rumors aren't all positive. The most recent rumor point to a much later announcement and launch for the cards. One of them comes yet again from Tom's Hardware, whose sources told them not to expect the Turing cards to enter mass production until as late as mid-June. And if you're counting, that's past Computex. And they said, and thus a hard launch of board partner cards is not expected before July. The site suggests that this means the new cards will likely be a no-show at Computex in June, although, quote, we may see some non-functioning mock-ups, end quote, after which partner cards will probably only be unveiled in August during Gamescom, which is kind of how the 1070 launch went. Like, they didn't have fully functional models on display, but they technically were working two years ago. Anyways, if Ampere really is the code name for Volta's direct replacement, as many are saying it will be, it's the one card we may actually see announced at NVIDIA's GTC event, with Turing being held off for later. But anyway, the reason for the delay in launching the new consumer-based Turing, according to sources at DigiTimes, is the dip in interest in crypto mining. The sources explain that since profitability from graphics cards has been waning, NVIDIA and AMD have both been decelerating the developments of their new art GPU architectures and prolonging their existing GPU platform cycle. The same sources believe the Turing-based cards will only enter mass production sometime time in the third quarter of this year, which semi-closely matches up with what sources told Tom's Hardware. We will also do well to remember that NVIDIA has little reason beyond crypto mining to release new cards as early as possible. As mentioned earlier, AMD only plans on releasing a new architecture next year in the form of 7 nanometer Navi, which means NVIDIA will remain mostly unchallenged in 2018. Whether they release their next-gen cards in one month or six, it doesn't really matter 
all that much. They'll be the only company releasing new cards and so the only choice for consumers looking for a significant upgrade this year is gonna be Team Green. But speaking of a significant upgrade, speculative estimates put next-gen GeForce cards at 20 to 30% faster than Pascal and it's very likely they'll be packing Samsung's new GDDR6 memory standard. That combined with the shrink to the 12 nanometer process, which would likely point to lower power draw among other benefits, means there's a lot to be excited for in Nvidia's upcoming release. We just wish they had more competition to deal with. There's little reason to doubt that we would have seen these cards released or at the very least announced by now if AMD posed any real threat. The lack of competition also means that there's little incentive for Nvidia to charge reasonable prices for its new tech. There are already rumors floating around that because of the crypto mining craze, Nvidia could charge more for these new cards at launch than ever before. With no competition to keep them in check, it could be even worse than we're thinking. But obviously that's all speculation until Nvidia finally starts doling out real deals at either Computex in June or maybe at Gamescom in August. Or, you know, a sneak peeker of an announcement at GTC. We can only hope that Nvidia will sneak peek us. So actually, after I had finished filming this video, I uh, found out that NVIDIA announces exclusive features for GPUs that don't exist. This is an article coming out from Engadget. I'm just pulling this up because somebody just sent this to me. Thank you, JC. Much appreciated. So the new features are part of RTX, a highly scalable solution, according to the company, and we're usher in a new era of real-time tracing. So it's only the special GameWorks feature that will be locked to Volta and future G generation GPU architectures. So this is an article that came out just today. Basically, this looks like it's something that's going on at GDC where they're talking about new developments in the GameWorks engine uh, and allowing that to be used for making games, except for some of these stuff, some of these things aren't released on the current Pascal architecture. So it seems a at least based on the article as far as I'm reading it. It's not going to be Volta, it's going to be Ampere, it might even be freaking Turing, but basically that with GDC going on, NVIDIA is announcing features for an architecture that doesn't yet exist, which is giving us even more reason to hopefully see at least a smidgen of a sneak peeker from NVIDIA about some new graphics cards. That's what I'm hoping for. But what do you all think? Let me know either down in the comments or over on our Discord, which I will be uh, trying to reinvigorate over these coming weeks. The link will be in the video description for the Discord. I really want to get uh, conversations going over there. So if you guys could head on over to the Discord, uh, give me your thoughts, inputs, feedback. I want to develop that to a point where we have good community engagement and that, uh, you know, the UFD family can be something that's pretty amazing. And I want that to happen over on Discord uh, until we can find our own platform. Anyways, so yeah, be sure to leave a comment, go over on Discord. That's good. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you like our rumor analysis, get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. Thank you all again for bearing with me. While I'm on the road, everything's a bit uh, funny, but you know, it is what it is. Kind of have to deal with it. I'm filming this video at 11.30 at night. So excuse me if my energy is a little lower than usual, but I really love you guys. I thank you so much for watching all of our videos. 100K is coming up very quickly. I'm excited. I have no plans. Guys, this trip has literally be taking everything uh, to just kind of focus on this with my family traveling around the States. So no plans for 100K, but we will do something. I promise you that. Anyways, I'm going to head out now. I love you guys so much. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.